Should he stay or should he Joe? Let's talk about it. So, pun aside, Jory Richards, um, he's got a decision to make. Does he stay at the pies and bide his time waiting for that um, permanent spot up forward? Or does he go to another team that's offering him uh, better pay, better contract, and possibly more time in the uh, forward line and in the best 23? Now, <clears throat> this is... An intense decision for, for Jory Richards. He's played eight games, kicked five goals, uh, was drafted pick 48 in the 2023 or 2022 draft. 2023 was his first year playing through the VFL and stuff like that. Finally gets his call up this year against West Coast. And only eight games, but Collingwood supporters can see just how good this kid is. Now, he's a mature ager. He was a teacher from, from Rang, Wang Garada. I uh, can't speak today. I uh, was a teacher from, from Wang. Uh, played under Ben Reid. Ben Reid told the Pies to, to go after him. And he was given a go, and he's just fantastic. He's one of those pure, small forwards that, look, we, we have a couple. But when you, when you look at it, Jamie Elliott isn't getting any younger. He probably, he's contracted to the end of next year, so he probably retires in a year or two. Um... And, and Joe Richards is that guy that has pure football talent. It's pure country football talent. And it's something that we've lacked for a long time in that forward line. Yes, you know, we had Ginevan and Ginevan was great, but now there's no Ginevan. So Joe Richards can kind of step up into that role. He works really well in tandem um, when he's playing with Bobby Hill, when he's playing with Lockie Schultz, and at times when he's playing um, uh, with Elliot. So I think personally... I would love Joe Richards to stay. I think every single Collingwood supporter would love Joe Richards to stay. Uh, he's he's become a bit of a cult hero um, at, at the Pies. got a bit of a cult following. And, you know, he needs to be played more. Well, he needed to be to be played more when we sort of needed that, that forward. And the one thing that makes me feel sick is the Sydney game, where he came on in the last 45 seconds, played less than 1% of game time, um, and that's counted as a game that he's played. So technically, he's played seven games, a couple with the sub. He's that sort of electric forward. And I think he can have a long, great career at the Pies. Now, what is being reported? So it's being reported by Mitch Cleary and a couple of other people now that Port Adelaide have offered him a four-year contract on good money to go over to Port Adelaide. And we know that Port Adelaide... When they go after a player, they absolutely hammer it and go after a player. Reportedly, now this is all reportedly, this is all alleged, uh, Collingwood have only offered him two years. And when you look at that, two years, and you're probably a year or two still behind Jamie Elliott, but still getting a go here and there, or four years at Port Adelaide, you've got that contract um, sewn up, you've got that good money sewn up. It's hard to knock back, as a 24-year-old, it's hard to knock back um, that stability of a four-year contract, um, some decent money, um, as opposed to a two-year contract. So when you look at Port Adelaide's forward line, though, uh, how they lined up last week was uh, Darcy Byrne-Jones, uh, Radaglia, Willie Rioli, Travis Boak, Charlie Dixon, and Connor Rose uh, in the forward line, according to their sort of team sheets, and they put some um, other guys sort of through there. So the only guy that he probably takes over there is Brioli. He's turning 30 next season. Uh, and, and Darcy Byrne-Jones. Uh, Travis Boak, you know, he'll come out of that forward line, but they, they still sort of want him, want him in. Charlie Dixon. But he's not that... Uh, uh, Joe Richards isn't that big forward, right? He's, a, he's a clearly a very small forward. Uh, so he'll be competing with a couple of go those guys there. They do have a few good young players as well. So it's not that he's a walk-up start into their best 23 either. So that's what's sort of swaying me to say that, you know, maybe, you know, it's not worth going there if you're not going to be there week in, week out. Who knows what they're promising him? They could promise him the world and just not pick him. But you do have that four-year contract. It's kind of like um, Ginevan, right, to a, to a certain extent, where we offered Ginevan two years or something, Hawks offered him four years, and we said, just take it. Like, that's, we're not going to offer you four years. And then he takes it. Um, he plays. He plays really good football. Uh, that's not to say that Joe Richards, if he goes over, won't be in their best twenty-three because he's a really good player, and he can go there and he can make an instant impact and he can fit into that Port Adelaide side. But I think, 
I don't know, like taking personal feelings out of it, I probably personally would do it. You you, you talk about loyalty to a club who's, who's only played two years here, uh, seven or eight games, eight games technically, seven games if you don't want to count a 1% game, um, but statistics will say it's um, eight games. I would love him to stay at the Pies, but how can you knock back a four-year good money deal? You wouldn't begrudge a player for leaving like that. And it's about what Collingwood can get back now if he does want to leave. So at the moment, Port only have picks 37 and 55. And I am in no way, shape or form taking pick 37 for Joe Richards. I know he went at pick, what did we say, 48. So it's 11 spots better. But I'm not taking pick 37 for Joe Richards. He's not a first round draft pick. I get that. He's not you know, an early second round. I think he might be a mid-second round draft pick. I know pick 37 is a late second round draft pick that Port Adelaide got, but I don't think that Collingwood are accepting that. There might be another team that has to come to come to, um, come to to the party to give us what we want. But I think Joe Richards is one of the better small forwards in the competition. I know we haven't seen a lot of him, but you can already see in the seven or eight games that he's played that he is electric, he is exciting, he is going to go places. Could be a 200 gamer at the Pies if he stayed. Uh, by his time, just Lockie, Lockie Schultz, uh, Bobby Hill, Joe Richards. We'll take Elliot out of this because we're, we're thinking about two, three years into the future. Uh, Dan McStay, uh, they're putting the balls to their uh, balls to the to the ground for the for these sort of guys. It's just electric. Um, the swoop squad from back from 2018. Um, it would be so. I think <sighs> he has a tough decision. He has a really tough decision. Does he want the stability or does he want to back himself in and fight for the spot for two years? But also, I'm pretty upset with Collingwood as well because for most of the year, they didn't offer him a contract. They only offered him a contract right at the end when they probably heard that Port offered him a contract. So I think that's shit on Collingwood's part as well. And you know I'm going to call out the Pies if I feel like they've done a shit job. So I think that's poor from, from the Pies part. I think he should have been offered um, a, a contract earlier on. I think two years is, is about right though. Port going really hard at four years, probably worth a three years somewhere else. But I think Pies are doing it right with a um, with a second, uh, sorry, with a two-year contract. But it should have been offered earlier on instead of waiting, waiting, waiting because we've got an aging list and we need to start keeping these young guys. But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts. Is Joey Richard staying or is he joeing? Let me know down below. These hoodies, um, they've sold like hotcakes. 35 have gone so far. That means there's only 55 left. So the link is down below. Get them. It's free shipping. Uh, if you're going to be at the game, I might I ask me and I'll bring it to you um, at the game. But until then, like, comment, subscribe, tell your family, tell your friends, tell your pets. And until next time, double shackers. I'll sweep you later.